Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play European House 4 with me of a Biomega Mayu in Texas and Brittany. So I'm starting this uh, episode by the thing that our consort Petronilla has unfortunately tragically died. And we now have no consort. So we can try to get a royal marriage again. I think that the lady was from where? Is it Aragon? No. Wait, 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 wait. Let's check it again. So we have England, Aragon, Castile, Milan, Savoy, Flanders. France would never do that. So maybe. Milan. Hmm, what about Naples? Would they... Yeah, they would go with uh, with that. So let's stop improving relations with Aragon and try to get a royal marriage with, with Naples. Come on. Okay, need to unpause. That's an important part of the master plan. <laughs> so Naples. Naples, Naples. Fingers crossed, we really need a young wife here. And you are young and fertile. That would make me happy. Fortunately, Charles is... Well, he's still very young, so there is a lot of time. Come on. Fuck, no. Damn it! Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> that is a problem! God damn it, well, let's hope that the game will throw a good event at me at some point. Uh, more things, more things. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but uh, we do now have one Carrick. But if you check, our current sailors are 55 and we are gaining 65 per month. Now I'm gonna show you something. If we send this ship out, it's gonna increase the amount of sailors to 64. Uh, if you look into the videos before and check what's in them, you will see that I did not have 65. I had some different number. I had 59. How did I get such a big increase? Well, I played with the forests and I found a national forest in Bro Roison. It's actually lowering our taxes quite a bit from there and lowers the rural goods produced, but it gives us extra sailor increase of 600 and that boosted our uh, gain to 65. So that's pretty good. We can't really build any more ships or military units, so that's good, but I will Probably find another forest maybe in our capital. We'll see. We'll see. The thing is we have a good modifier for timber. We're a timber supplier still, but as our fleets go much larger, we'll need to get either colonies that will provide us with enough timber or we'll just need to find more state forests. That's that. Uh, what, we can request annulment? We don't have a queen consort, so what the fuck? She died, dude. Oh, that's super weird, but okay. Anyway, the war with uh, Portugal has ended and England sent me an offer for a military alliance. So I said yes, and now we are allied with Castile, England, and Flanders. So I don't think France is going to attack us anytime soon. I don't believe that. Sure, unfortunate that they're still hostile and I don't know how to change it. Oh! Wait, what? We had a truce? Well, I had no idea. Wonders would join if we offered them land. So do they have a claim? Hmm. 
Holland. How did they get these provinces? They probably inherited them, I guess, would be my guess. Uh, yeah, the humanism will come very soon in February, so that's good. And uh, yeah, uh, what I wanted to show you also is that the Ottomans actually finally had a war a couple of years ago and they got parts in south of Anatolia, but they're still extremely pitiful. Especially the te technology wise, they're really not doing good, and I don't think anything else is much better. Their population is actually increasing, and they have a really good autonomy. I like that, or you know, I can t congratulate them for that. Um, but other than it, uh, the development is fairly sparse if you check it, even their capital is very small. So they're really not going to make a whole lot of deals in this uh, this world. Uh, the thing is, that's why Georgia is surviving so well. That's why uh, Trebizond is still here, Eretnitz, Hamid, and that probably allowed Naples to expand so much into Greece, which is interesting. Uh, we know that Muscovy lost the war against Lithuania, but there has been no change in that since. And one more thing that I wanted to mention, I wanted to buy more uh, copper from uh, Sweden, but I actually couldn't. The reason for that is that there are now new, uh, new things that we need to fulfill. If we want to buy more copper, we need to have relations with them of at least 100. And Sweden's opinion of Britain is at least 100, yes. Okay, so I started uh, improving the relations of us, uh, our relations, and I think we'll be able to buy the copper in a couple of years because I kind of like the fact that we got a bonus and if we get even more that would be decent. I can only imagine what kind of interesting bonuses it's gonna give us when it's already giving us that much. Where is it? Yeah, construction cost, artillery, prestige decay, ship durability. I like the ship durability probably the most. That one is really good. Okay, and let's get the humanism. Duke, our administrative technology level increased to humanism 15. Scholars studying the classics were forced to admit that they were often brilliant and applicable to the modern world, despite often being written by men who worshipped strange gods or spoke different languages. They began to judge them not as heretics, but on the merits of their writings. The, humanists world, the humanist worldview allowed them to discuss topics that would normally be banned in polite company. Extra number of states. And the next level will give us extra... Uh, group idea. Good. So that's gonna happen in four years. So in four years we might get the Goldsmith Motherlanders. I'm really interested if we could get the uh, the exploration ideas. If not, due to the threat from France, I would probably go with the quality ideas. Extra leader without upkeep. Army tradition decay lord, military drill will increase our armies, artillery combat will be increased, four defenses will be increased, cavalry combat will be increased, and infantry combat ability will be increased. So that's going to be good. We already have army professionalism of 43, so that's pretty good. Um just hoping that it's you know, that we can remain in peace. We have the guarantees of the allies for that, so Hopefully, hopefully that's gonna happen. Actually, let's spend some favors on increasing Castilian trust. I'm not really getting that many favors, but I'd like to have my allies trust me because that means that they will not abandon me. 
Uh, okay, okay, we can't do anything here. Rival Popes. Hmm. Support the rival Pope. Who does Castile support? That's important for me. The Knights. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, they support the... Oh, here's Castillo. Okay, we support the rival Pope, still. We don't really want to p piss off Castillo. That's our guarantee of life. Uh, we're a light rival, but that doesn't seem to bother them that much. Anyway, so we really don't have anyone married. I wish we got some marriage from our lands. That would be decent. Because no air means, I think, personal union with Castile. Yeah. No. Succession war between Castile and England. Great. I usually ignore some of these events because there are so many of them, but this one is really important. France tells us of Charles VIII takes power. Charles VIII, called the Effable, was a monarch of the House de Valois, who ruled as King of France from 1483 to his death in 1498. In a remarkable stroke of audacity, Charles married Anne of Brittany in 1491, after she had already been married to proxy, oh, by proxy to the Habsburg Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I in a ceremony of questionable validity. Upon his marriage, Charles became administrator of Brittany and established a personal union that enabled France to avoid total encirclement by Habsburg territories. To secure his rights, to the Neapolitan throne that René de Anjou had left to his father, Charles made a series of concessions to neighboring monarchs and conquered the Italian peninsula without much opposition. The coalition formed against the French invasion in, of 1494 to, nine, uh, to 98 and finally drove out Charles' army, but the Italian wars would dominate Western European politics for over 50 years. So France gets the affable until the death of the current king. Extra discipline, lower diplomatic reputation, lower monthly autonomy change, artillery bonus versus forts plus three. Fuck. Okay, that's that's just awesome. Anyway, uh, we will soon finish out the forts in Bro Roazon uh, during this year and in our capital which will finish up one of our missions, the Fortify uh, the Border. I'm actually happy about that. Uh, after which... After which... We are going to build the uh, dock in our capital. Then I would like to strengthen the forts in St. Malo, uh, La Rochelle and Basque Poet too. And then build an extra dock in La Rochelle, and maybe build a shipwright in St. Mo, which could be good. I'd like to have a military harbor here. It's just an estuary, so it's never going to be as good as Brogernev, but still, it's, it could be good. Uh, Brogernev, by the way, is starting to rack up population. It's uh, above 11.2 thousand now. So that's nice. I wish for, you know, I'm trying to build some cathedrals here and there, but I'm not entirely sure with the antipope and everything if, if it's a good idea. Okay, our relationship with Sweden is 110. Can we now get the copper? No. One of the following must be true. All of the following. Al allied with Sweden. So we need to have an alliance to get more copper? Really? Okay. That's... 
Not what I was expecting. Okay, I, I guess we're not gonna get the copper. <laughs> I'm not gonna ally Sweden, especially because I can't. They're in personal union with Denmark still, so... Yeah. Yeah. The House of the Rohan. With the union of Charles III and Berfa, we have gained not only a spouse, but also a new ally in the realm. The Rohan is an old and influential family, and their seat in Broroazon is Jewel of the Duchy. Of course, friendships has to go both ways, and Berfa will be expected to speak for her kin, while our Duke will be expected uh, to consider such advice very carefully. Okay... Hey, we have a new... Oh, so we did not only get a consort, but also a child. Great. Okay. So let's name him Charles as well. We don't want the Francois. Uh, Charles. He's going to be the fourth one, won't he? Yes, Charles the fourth. We lost the uncertain legitimacy trait. That is just awesome. Anyway, I've been uh, just keeping myself busy with constructing stuff. Uh, we can now get an extra ship, so that one is well underway in Brogenev. Oh, and finally, a new unit. So let's get... We want to get another swivel gun. So I think we might want to get another one's infantry, but... Uh, having too many guns in the beginning. Yeah, let's get an infantry unit. Uh, but, yes, we now have the modern castle in our capital. We do have a modern castle in uh, Brorazon, and we're building one in Saint Malo. We're also building one in Basque too, and we're building one in La Rochelle, which will protect our trade wharf there, which is already finished. We're also building a. Oh, well, I forgot what it. Yeah, it doesn't say the name, but trade harbor. Okay, trade harbor in our capital. And uh, we are about to commission a fort in Bro Garnef. So let's check. Yeah, we don't want to sacrifice more uh, more manpower to this. So let's just pay it off with gold. And a fort is building in Bro Garnef, which will further increase the local urban gravity. It gives 10% bonus, so it should get to somewhere around 21,000. We'll see, we'll see. One more thing that's worth noticing is that our court has increased to magnificent. I'm actually all for building a university here if we all have time. The population started rising again, we're next to 50, or near 50,000, so I don't think it's necessary to build uh, the warehouse district. But we might want to build a university because we have finished the fortify the border and university of Brittany would be good. Yeah, I think I have already, uh, you know, waited long enough and we're not getting anyone particularly interested in this. Uh, what's more? Oh, that's that's interesting. We got twice after like a month increase in skills so Jean de Kerelec now has first he got one extra fire and then he got one extra shock so he's becoming like a really good leader I'm happy about that he could go places I mean this is really not a bad leader and the lands infantry is finished so we're gonna get that and continue rowing yes extra year away Army professionalism, 44.83, damn. Spending a lot of money on that, but we're still getting insane amounts of trade. We are dominating the Northwest, what is it called? Northwest Atlantic? Yes, Northwest Atlantic. You can see that we're getting 33% of the total, which is 31 gold. And is just awesome. Very close to getting the longer barrels, very close to getting the block books, so 
I'm interested in that. But on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here. It has been long enough. Uh, we're getting actually a really good development here. Yeah, we're becoming M. The, the only weaker one is Buspo 2, uh, unfortunately also Sant Malo. But you can see that we are definitely uh, noticeable on the map. The autonomy is also really good, with the exception again of Sant Malo, which has the boost to autonomy. But we can battle that by building a trade wharf. Probably that could shorten the communication. No, there it's seven days. Which should be the same like Brovaned, and that one has 10. So the river is just the penalties. Yeah, Saint Malo is 0 0.3, so uh, that's gonna take a while to to defeat. And I was thinking that we might, because the autonomy in our capital is actually not dropping, we might consider building a capital building. I think it costs 1500, so that would be a bit of a problem and also costs a lot of yearly maintenance. But it lowers the monthly autonomy change uh, by 0.1 and if we build a university here the autonomy will only increase. So it might be worth considering. Anyway, that's all from me for this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Long live Brittany!